I just keep coming back for more! Last time, I failed very hard. This time, I'm gonna stay here on expert and suffer through it, or knave as I should say, because apparently I missed another thing up in the caverns and I need to look up more, apparently. So, pardon me while I go grab my rope arrow and avoid this guy and all that shit. Problem is he always seems to be on one of these stairwells. It's almost impossible to go into one of them without getting caught. Okay, so, managed to get up here while avoiding any sort of alerts, I think. So now I've got my rope arrow. At least I think. What? <laughs> Come on. I picked an arrow off here. What the heck was it? What on earth? Oh, freaking reason I'm having this problem again. Okay, let's finally go back up into the caverns. Wow, that's pretty high. But I guess it must reach, because otherwise it would be silly. Oh wow, I alerted a spider. Wow, I sure am pissed off about that. Anyway. Yeah, well, there are some more AIs up in here, and I don't have a blackjack. But, uh, as a thief expert self-professed, I believe I can freaking handle that. So anyways, not only do I gotta go back and get the stuff that I... ...missed... ...on expert, you know, the first time, because I had to go back on normal. But now I gotta look e around some more, even, to uh, find other things. Oh, I see. There's, like, a door up there for some reason, but... Oh, I see. Oh, crap. But... I, I gotta... Whatever. Where is that spider? There it is. Anyway, I gotta go down here and get the other stuff, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh! A pile of warm blood. Why didn't I notice that before? Well, this is the guy who experimented with death. I guess he didn't experiment enough, though, because one goes into an experiment knowing they could fail. I can't wait to play some BSI again, but, uh, you know, that'll have to wait until I can scrounge up some gas money and all. Bothersome little fella, especially when I have literally no means of destroying him. And, and I have to get up here somehow. Whoa, that's another one. No, that's a whole other passage. The passage I was looking at was like... Whoa, they're like all over the friggin' place. What? Seriously bothersome. Turn to the shadows from whence you come. Boy, I'm gonna step on you. That's what you do, right? You squish spiders. <laughs> See, there's your blood. Oh, it's mine. What the goddamn hell is that ropeable spot? Like, why do I keep going to the same place here? That. Whoa, that ropeable spot. There's like three of them, and one of them has like a ropeable spot on it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, I don't think I can get there or there. I think I have to go through here and like. Oh, there we are. Hopefully that spider won't bother me anymore. Uh all right, come on. Huh. Alright! I think I'm finally freaking getting place now. I thought I thought down there in that tomb with the nameless shuffler was the only place to go for advancement. But really, I guess here makes for a good advancing place to always love the waters. Bedford, I'm telling you again that you shouldn't venture in this area. It is too far from Agatha, and Thoros told me his party scouted some bloody Sarnathi moving in these caves some days ago. I know there are gems and all kind of crap down there, but it's too dangerous. You're my nephew, and even if you are a half-wit and I don't even know if you can read, I still care for you. Austin, right, well, that's the way you show it. Wow, this is like hell of a dark still. Oh my god. Whoa, there's like an actual human here. That's amazing, I don't have a blackjack. It's a little copper key, which may be for a door down there. I mean, I don't know. Oh, give me a freaking break. Oh, hi. I decided to go to the black cave below to see if I could find some valuables. But I heard a noise and something cold began to reach for me. I got up the rope and ran so fast, I almost died. The only thing I found down there was a knight's corpse. He had a key on him, but I don't know what it opens. A treasury, perhaps? Even if gold and riches do appeal to me, there's no way in Ginnungagap I am coming back down there, I swear. In the meantime, someone got up there, it seems, and left me a campfire and pretty gemstone. How convenient! The bugger that was here before is nowhere to be found, though. Oh, well, best lock up your vals, and by vals I mean valuables, because if not, the thief is going to take them. I hope he doesn't come here and touch me here, because touching is very bad for a thief. We're not interested in that sort of intimacy at all. 
Nope. Not even with Basso's sister! Okay, maybe with Basso's sister. Well, it looks like I can continue on over here. Possibly. Would just be some loot, though, which I actually need, because seriously... Uh, oh, hey, now I've got the means to kill that spider and after I no longer need to do so. <laughs> Freaking great. Well, I guess this key must be for that door that uh, down in that crypty place where I couldn't open before. Uh, so I guess I'll try to remember how to get down there. It seems like this might be, you know, no, of course not. However, just in case I missed another new thing, I'm going to, you know, make a hard save up here so I don't have to wander all around like a crazy person. Hopefully I can kill that walker eventually. Oh, hey, it's like not really anything in here other than a book and a piece of loot. Great. This grimoire is so old, the pages crumble under your fingers. These tunnels were used by King Pearsall. Pearsall, I think Steve Pearsall is like a designer on Thief or something. Maybe. The second of his name, during the Siege of Agatha, they provided the valiant knights and hardened footmen of Midgard a safe passage behind the enemy lines, so they could attack the siege engines of the vile Sarnath and defeat the enemy from behind. The sepulchre is tied to the ancient magic of Ginnanungigap, and it is rumored only the warmth of life may open these secret passages. King Pearsall II alone knew what this meant, and he kept the secret with him when he was slain by Lord Stelmach, the turncoat turn cloak, who switched his allegiance during the dead of battle, seeing that the Sarnath fought very well, despite being flanked by our royal army. Stelmark. It's another name I recognize, though. Well, anyway. This book is so old, the pages are nothing but falling dust. The sepulchre was built in such a way that grave robbers would have a hard time getting to the chamber of the kings, where the past monarchs of Agatha are laid to rest in peace eternal. Indeed, Meister Huzo had the idea to install very complex machinery that is linked to several portcullises, and only a keen observer would see such mechanisms. This system was fruitful since several tomb raiders were caught trying to access the chamber of the kings and then placed into a room to have a lesbian orgy. No, what? And the Chapel of Lamentations close to it. They were easily dealt with, and the precious funeral adornments our good kings took with them in the afterlife are still safe as of today. <laughs> that was a dumb thing to say. Anyways, sometimes I'm dumb. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, hey. Uh, so, so yeah, apparently there's like another switch somewhere that I have to hunt for while being hunted down by a guy who is literally impossible to avoid. Uh, that sounds like fun gameplay. It is known Midgard is located near the Dreadlands and at the edge of Giddigiddigiddy Gap, where Angel Muir moans every now and then, but while we do know that Giddigiddy is a cavern so deep no one would ever explore it, we do not know a lot about the Dreadlands. Tales of Drax and unspeakable horrors are told sometimes, and it is said these desolate frozen caverns led to a legendary region called the Surface. No one knows what this is, but expeditions have been sent to the Dreadlands, and they never returned. Some of them were frozen in place, some just disappeared. Even the Sarnath, vicious and cunning as they are, never dare to go beyond their kingdom to trick in the Dreadlands. It is said that a dragon inhabits a cave at the edge of the Darklands and the Dreadlands, and that men and Sarnathi alike have to pay a toll to pass, but no one ever lived long enough to confirm this. Pay a toll to a dragon. That's silly talk. So what? Why did I even need the key? I mean, for the loot, I guess, but like... Is there, I mean, seriously, is there a secret book or something? No, because there's, like, no other place. So this, this is just going, this room is just to tell me, like, yes, you are indeed correct. You have to find out a secret lever while being hunted by a guy who I still cannot find a means to kill. Except no, because warm blood opens the way, but I don't know which way they're talking about. Hmm, let me read this again. Well, it says there's a secret passage or some secret passages. Wait a minute. Is that spider, like, in the cave above me, or is it, like, in this room somewhere? Because I don't remember any spiders. No, I guess he's above. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know what secret passages those are, though. I mean, this almost looks like a thing, actually. In fact, it kind of does, but, like, warmth of light. What, am I supposed to put it down or something? Or oh. I think that guy got alerted. Because he's walking, like, quote-unquote slowly, or relatively slowly, compared to how he usually walks, and seems to be hunting around. Well, that's a big old unfortunate, but I'm afraid, well, what can you even really do? This definitely looks like sharp edges. I'm not too sure, but it looks like it's definitely some kind of... Well, I don't know. I don't have a sword, so I can't test if it's an object or whatever. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. 
Yeah, maybe. I guess you're supposed to kind of jump across and over these grates and stuff and get down the stairs when he's not there. Something. Hmm. It is random. Sometimes when I load this state, he never comes up here. And other times he comes up here right away. Ah! Get on there! Come on! Don't fall off! I'm trying to not get killed here! There you go. For some reason it's bright now. Still. Oh, there's hey, so There's some loot. Anyways. Time to think while that ridiculous asshole goes like, Oh, I'm gonna kill you! <sighs> blood, 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 blood. Place it down some. What? Nope, that didn't do jack squat. It's like it's bad enough to have a guy that's <clears throat> invisible, but to have his route be randomly decided? Come on! Like there's hard and there's bullshit! That's why I always seem to never be able to predict him, like he always- What? Uh, no, like he always seems to be in- See, now he's not going to hit me there. But then sometimes he is. Whatever. Next time. Bye for now.